There are countless concerns being raised as we continue to maneuver our way through this COVID-19 outbreak. We Skyped with Dr. Tim Seeloff, Alina's chief medical officer, about an hour ago to ask him some of your questions. Thanks so much for joining us, doctor. We really appreciate it. I want to get your insights, first of all, about the big decision the governor made to close down gyms and movie theaters and restaurants. Do you think that was the right call? Good morning. Absolutely, I think it's the right call. It is, it is a time when Minnesotans need to band together and to do everything that we can do within our power to uh, prevent the spread of this disease. And so social uh, distancing and um, sort of self-quarantine to a more uh, extreme degree than we had been talking about before is, is absolutely the right thing to do. If we remember uh, exponents from high school, uh, a little change in an exponent makes a big difference in the outcome and the growth of this disease is on an exponential curve right now and we need to bend that. We need to flatten it so that we can keep more people healthier for a longer period of time and uh, preserve our resources in the hospitals for the very sickest individuals. Doctor, we've been getting a lot of questions coming in from viewers and we're going to put some of those to you. The first one is viewers want to know, can you get COVID-19 and the flu or a cold at the same time? You know, it, it would be technically possible. It's not a common circumstance when people have both of those at the same time. Uh, it, is, it is technically possible, but it is an unlikely Technically possible, but highly unlikely. Thanks, Doc. Do you think, yeah, uh, let me ask you the next one if you don't mind. Do you think coronavirus is a one and done, or is this something that people, if you get it this year, you might get it again next year? How does that work? The vast majority of viral illnesses, people develop immunity to them. And so it would be uh, the most likely circumstance that people will get an infection, will develop immunity, and will not be able to be reinfected with this coronavirus. Doctor, a lot of questions coming in about things that we are touching all the time. Uh, one viewer had asked, how long does the virus stay on paper or on cardboard? And should we be concerned about picking up our mail every day? There hasn't been a lot of research done about the viability of the virus, the ability to be transmitted to people uh, from paper surfaces. Uh, it seems as though it stays most transmissible on hard, flat surfaces like a steel countertop or granite, that sort of thing would be transmitted to paper from somebody who's infected, but probably in very low amounts and probably for a relatively short period of time. That said, it is really important to do the things that are within our power that after maybe handling the mail, after uh, uh, any, any sort of uh, sneezing or anything like that, wash your hands, uh, make sure you cover a sneeze, clean the surfaces that might be around, uh, around you that you might have touched, and uh, really practice that personal uh, public health hygiene that's been emphasized yeah. and is really absolutely vital for all Minnesotans right Smart. now. With this concept of social distancing we're using now, how does this relate to hair salons, nail salons? The governor hasn't closed them yet, although some individual places have made the choice to close. What's your thought there? You know, I, I think that uh, that would be within the confines of social distance. Those circumstances. I know that those businesses are working very hard to maintain their hygiene of their facilities, uh, but I think that it's, it's very possible that we are all going to make many sacrifices and will have many inconvenience will be really significant, especially for small businesses like that. But we really need to focus on uh, control now, control for the next three or four or five weeks. That's the, this is the time frame when we can really make a difference. All it's right. really incumbent upon all of us to participate in this. Makes sense. Good time to cancel your appointment if you have one coming. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us and answering our viewers' questions. All right, Riley. You're very welcome. Take care.